hello hello everybody it is Nick the booksmith and I am back for a short ish video here to share with you guys this is a um, an order that Carolyn um, ordered back in July and hi Carolyn and I finally got around to getting her books done so here are her books Carolyn likes, um, she likes the hardbacks, like the booksmith tomes with the rounded spines and the ridges. She likes blues and botanicals and nature, and so that's, that's what we went with. So let's see. Let's show the little guy first. She wanted a wee tome, so I made her a wee tome, and the cover, as you can see, there's a little flower um, emboss there, and then on the back, there's another one, and this cover is done in um, pale blues and teal bluey greens, and I tried to make it look like, um, like a watercolor. Um, kind of a color. So I, I hope you like that, Carolyn. There is the rounded spine with some ridges. And we've got some tabs up at the tippity top. And some tabs on the side and a seam binders ribbon. This one is, let me put it over here. This one is, of course, smaller. It's a wee tome. I will have to, um, count the pages. I forgot to count the pages. But we've got some Tim Holtz papers, um, some Edith Holden pages, some of my ephemera that I've put in here with grid work, some digital stamps that I've added, some book pages. I made this little bookmark with a, um, a little garment pin and I don't know, I just sewed around the edge. I thought it was cute. So you can use that in any book. Anything you want. Some grid with some stamping. More digital prints. Some more Edith Holden pages. Here's a nice big pocket with a piece of ephemera in there as well. Some ledger. One of my one of the photographs from one of my kits, the ladies at the French flower market. Another digital stamp there. This book has a lot of pages. Even though it's little, it has a lot of pages. Stamping. A lot of cool um, staining done on there. Here's a nice little pocket with a tag. I just kind of slipped that guy right in there. There's a little bird stamp up there in a real pretty green, olivey green, and a nest. Another pocket on this side with some Tim Holtz people on a photo strip. Also can be used as a bookmark. The nice big tag here, nice big journal tag here, but it's it's an old um, greeting, the front of a greeting card. More stamping down there, and that kind of bled through. It kind of looks cool on that side. Notebook pages. Some more stamping. And here is another little piece of ephemera back here and a book plate on the back. So this is the Wee Tome, the watercolor Wee Tome. I really, really, really like how the cover came out with the different, the different uh, modeled tones on there. Okay. The next one is a large, I'm gonna have to Back the truck up here, people. <coughs> there we go. This one, of course, is a regular size, a big tome. And let me make sure we're good here. Okay. And um, I put the vines on the corners 
on the four corners here. Of course, it has the rounded spine. Still has strings attached for you, Carolyn. And then there is a little, a little vine here on the back corner. But tabs up on the top, the cheesecloth hanging out of the binding like I always do, and then um, all the laces that I like on the edges of the pages. Let me get this all. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, so here is um, this front cover, and it's got a digital stamp down here and um, a little butterfly down there. Here's some of um, the kiddos in my Reminisce kit that I've added to this big lace pocket. Some stamping, some Edith Holden pages. It's like the other one, just giant size. <laughs> there are some book pages some little dies and a lot of stamping done here on this sheet music. Some more stamping up there. Some more digitals. Nice tuck spot here with um, some ephemera tucked in there. And this side is a nice big sewn pocket with some, sorry, tails with some cheesecloth and some stamps and I don't know, it's just kind of a nice big sewn pocket. It's got, it's got some twine up here with a garment pin. On this side, I've attached a little shipping tag that you can journal on on the back with a digital stamp on it. Oh, and up here is one of the Tim Holtz little pins. On this pocket is another digital stamp and inside is a, um, a printout from a letter from 1837. So that just kind of gets all tucked in and slid in that pocket. There is um, notebook paper there. A lot of stamping in this one as well. Some Tim Holtz ephemera there. Another photograph from my Reminisce kit. Sheet music. Some more digital stamping on this notebook paper. There's a couple of tags in here with some digital stamping. Another one of the Tim Holtz, um, the photo strips. I love these. Here is a little tag down here with a little metal tab that says heart and it's hooked on a couple of uh, safety pins. Some more stamping there and there. More stamping on that page. A little Tim Holtz die cut and a book page and a journaling shipping tag. A piece of ephemera on this side and a nice large tuck spot all sewn in on that side. It's a nice big pocket with a um, a photo and a journaling tag and then one of the Tim Holtz die cuts with some cheesecloth down there. Some more ephemera on that sheet music and some more stamping. Some little kiddos, those are Tim Holtz kiddos. There's another big pocket with one of the um, the little nature tags that comes from the the tea cards. A jib had sent me sent me some of those, and just some a little journaling page and a journaling tag tucked into this sewn pocket. Another sewn pocket on this side. Um, nice big corner tuck spot there, and some digital stamping on that side. Another photograph up there. More sheet music. <coughs> Excuse me. Another piece of ephemera in this pocket. And another of the ladies at the flower market in this one. And the Franken page, all sewn together. 
some stamping, some digital stamping on that side, some more Edith Holden, another sewn pocket on this side with some tags, and then on the back we have my um, signature and a digital stamp with a book plate. With the, isn't that pretty? I love, this is Tim Holtz paper, but it was in blue, and I just thought it was gorgeous. It matches that side. So here is the big lady. So there's this one, and we've got this one. They look, they look really nice together. Okay, Carolyn, here, here are your books, and I hope you loved both of them. It was a joy making these for you, so um, I hope they bring you years of enjoyment. Um, a big shout out to all my book smithers. Hi guys! We're having so much fun. <laughs> um, we're having so much fun at the Facebook group. So if you are a book smither and you haven't joined the Facebook group yet, I encourage you to do so. Um, we're having a blast and there's lots of photographs of what people are doing and a lot of tips and tricks and just lots of fun stuff going on. So if you've if you purchased the course and you haven't become a part of the Facebook group, um, I, I totally encourage you to do that because um, you're gonna have a lot of fun. You don't even have to say anything. It's not like you have to come in and you know be entertaining. <laughs> you can just come in and look around. It's it's okay. It's okay. Um, another shout out to um, all of my subscribers in Florida. Please, please, please be safe. Um, do what the government is telling you and get out if you ha if you need to. Please, please, please don't take any risks. This is a the biggest, baddest storm that has come down the pike in a long time. And um, oh, you're going to make me cry. <laughs> I'm going to make me cry. Okay, I'm going to end this. You guys have a great day. And... Um, Ah, I will catch you guys in the next video. I got something special coming up soon that I'm, um, I can't wait to show you. So, um, everybody be safe and, um, have a great afternoon. Bye guys.